to this day. 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 What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua. Get this. This is what Anthony Joshua had to say about Deontay Wilder. Check it. He says, um, I am not waiting around till I'm 40. I can't drag my career out waiting. Uh, in between waiting, I will have to do more fights, more training camps, and more pressure. And that's AJ saying that he's not willing to wait too long in the fight with Deontay Wilder. Let me counterpunch. Well, I mean, what are you talking about? You're not waiting for anything. You've had two fights this year. You know, and in between negotiations, negotiations are normally, you know, in between fights or, you know, are, are, going, are happening behind the scenes. So I don't know what AJ means. Like, well, I'm not going to wait till I'm 40. Well, if you wait till you're 40, that means he's 33. And I think Wilder just turned, and he, he just turned probably, uh, or he will be 37. So he has four years on you. So if you're 40 years old, he'll be 44 years old if he's still fighting. But for him to say, well, I won't drag my career around waiting for him. Well, I think the whole idea is it's not waiting for him. It's waiting for the situation to to uh, uh, mature, you know, getting the right venue. Where is it going to be? It should be in the States. That fight should be in the States, bro. Which fight shouldn't fucking be anywhere else. You know, the only reason it should be in the Saudi Arabia uh, demographic because is because of the money. It's because of the money, not because of anything else. Not because, oh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it's a UK show. It could be at Wembley. It could be at Wembley. And I would love it to be at Wembley. But, like, I would like Joshua to, to come back to the States as well, you know, and redeem himself. Okay? Like, you guys already know how I feel about that. But him saying, I don't want to wait all, all, you know, wait along until I'm 40 to wait for Wilder. Okay? You're exaggerating the issue. And when people exaggerate certain situations, it's never a good look. It's not. It's not a good look at all. Him saying, him saying, I'm not going to do that. That means you're showing impatientness over something that nobody has control over. And I just find that strange, you know, and now it's already the narrative has been drawn in the sand that's going around that AJ doesn't want to fight punchers unless it's Deontay. I don't think it's Deontay at all anyway. I think... He wants to be, he'd rather be a three-time champion because paydays to AJ is, I think is, it's pretty pointless. AJ is a guy that I know that he's comfortable with his banking account. If he looks at his banking account, that probably makes him smile and, and makes him happy as shit. He's a businessman. So I don't think him fighting guys like Deontay Wilder is really paramount unless, it, you know, um, especially when he has another option especially when his promoter is offering him another option or his job being one of the biggest and best promoters in the game right now is to get him the best option. So I don't think, you know, him saying stuff like that just shows me that AJ really ain't interested in that fight saying that I ain't going to wait around for it. Because if you're saying I'm not going to wait around for it, what are you doing in desperation to make the fight happen? Okay. See, when you say shit like that, but don't say what is being or, or what is happening to take place. You know, that's a red flag. Definitely. Because that that's not that that that's a bad look. Um, it's not promising. And it's just showing that you may be looking for an excuse on why you don't want to fight Wilder because he took too long. See, you're just setting yourself up for other excuses on how you get out of a situation. You know what I mean? Like, oh, well, I'm not going to wait around till I'm 40. You know, I still got to do fights and put more. Yeah, you're doing fights and you're doing more pressure. That don't mean you can't, you got to wait around for Wilder. I think what it is is the, 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 the choices that Joshua have, they have, they're, they're now very limited. They're not what they were before. You know, and then if he goes in and fights, I get Kabayel and stuff like that. It just shows, okay, well, he's keeping busy. But he's not really raising the opposition at all either. He's just in there just trying to get a check, trying to stay busy, and hopefully working on his craft with his new trainer. You know, 
But let's hope at the same time he's not avoiding Deontay Wilder by saying the shit that he just that we just read. I just read to you, you know. But again, it doesn't seem good for him saying that because you know if that been Wilder, because I'm fair on this channel. If Wilder starts talking that shit, man, ain't waiting around for Joshua, that's probably let me know that maybe you don't want to fight the motherfucker. Maybe you got another option or something else up your sleeve. You know what I mean? To uh, keep you busy or to make you some ching ching. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Anthony Joshua becoming impatient, saying that he won't wait around until he's 40 to fight Deontay Wilder. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched.